Welcome back Curry Crew. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make the perfect grilled cheese sandwich. It is very easy to make. It's made of three simple ingredients. However, there are a few things that you need to master. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into our recipe. We're gonna interrupt your video right now just to let you know that we're on the road to a thousand subscribers, guys. So if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down there so that you can watch all of the new videos that we post every week. We're gonna post two videos every week. You wanna make sure you see those recipes. So click subscribe and then punch that notification bell so you know when the videos come out. And now, back to your video. So our perfect grilled cheese only has three ingredients, but each one is equally important. It all starts with the bread, then we have our cheese, and last but not least, we need butter. Now, you can use white bread, or to elevate a little bit, you can use sourdough like I'm doing here. Sourdough bread has a great tangy taste and a really nice crusty exterior that really holds up well when cooking our grilled cheese sandwich. Now for the cheese, you want to make sure that you have one that is a really good melting cheese. You want to avoid hard cheeses like Parmesan because it's not going to give you that ooey gooeyness that you want in a perfect grilled cheese. So anything that is hard or has a crust on it, you got to get rid of that and instead go for something like cheddar or Gruyere because it's going to melt better and it's going to taste a lot better as well. You can also use American cheese if you like or you can mix and match cheeses like I'm doing here. But you want to make sure that you're surrounding the extra cheese with one that can melt well. So I'm using white cheddar, sharp cheddar, and then for some extra taste I'm using Monterey Jack. Now to assemble our sandwich, take some butter and apply it to both slices of your bread. And this sandwich does have a lot of butter in it, but if you chose to eat a grilled cheese sandwich, are you really worried about how much fat or carbs are in it? So you know, apply generously and then you can move on to the next steps. Now once you've applied the butter, you can add one slice of cheese to each side of your sandwich and then top with your sharp cheddar. Now we're going to take a pan and into this we are going to add in some butter, enough to coat the entire bottom of the pan. And our pan is going to be on very low heat because the trick to the perfect grilled cheese is to go low and slow. So low heat for a longer time. Once the butter melts and is nice and foamy, we're going to place our two sandwich sides face up in the pan and then we're going to cover the pan with the lid. This will allow the cheese to slowly melt due to the heat being trapped inside the pan. And then what's going to happen is once the cheese melts, we're going to remove the lid and we're going to combine the two sides into our assembled sandwich. So after about a few minutes, once the cheese has melted and you can see it running down the sides, take the lid off the pan and flip one side onto the other. And now press down and cook both sides of your sandwich until it turns a nice golden brown color and gives you a really nice crust on the outside of your ooey and gooey sandwich. Now once your sandwich develops a nice and golden crust on both sides, you can remove the grilled cheese from the pan and let it cool down for a few minutes. After which we're going to cut into it and oh my god guys, look at that. The perfect grilled cheese with the cheese just oozing down the sides and calling out to us. If that is not one of the best views in the world, I don't know what is. So I can't do it guys, I can't wait anymore. I need to taste it and I need to dig right in. So guys, here we have our final grilled cheese. We're gonna eat it the traditional way. We're gonna have some delicious tomato soup on the side. However, you can also just eat it on its own. You can eat it with some ketchup, whatever it is that you feel like doing with it. But we're gonna do it the traditional way, just dip it in some tomato soup, have it, enjoy it. And you know, without any further ado, let's go and taste. Mmm, man, I... Yeah, perfect. It's like the perfect comfort meal on like a cold day, on like a rainy day, whatever you need. You need a little bit of warmth and comfort. This is the perfect meal for that. So you definitely need to try this out for yourself because I know you're going to fall in love as well. You might even improve your grilled cheese making skills and impress everybody that you know. So try it out. Let us know how it turns out for you and keep on cooking. 